Hi, in this part of the tutorial I am going to cover some of the general concepts associated with creating object-oriented visual programs while working within the Gambas IDE. This tutorial video is possibly the most heavily concentrated and most filled with computer programming concepts and terminology, but remember, you absolutely do not need to understand all of the concepts in this video in order to start experimenting, creating useful programs, and hopefully having fun with Gambas. First I am going to explain some of the concepts associated with general programming, and then I will move on to the fundamentals of event-driven, object-oriented GUI-based programs, which are applicable to the Gambas visual programming environment. Those terms may seem very intimidating, but don't worry, this video will cover just enough of the concepts of visual, object-oriented programming to allow you to move forward using Gambas. And seriously, if you are unfamiliar with these terms, they really sound a lot more complicated than they actually are. These terms may be new to you, but rest assured, you can start creating Gambas programs without any extensive knowledge of the following concepts. The whole point of this tutorial series is to be an easy and fun way to move into GUI programming. And you really will pick up these concepts and terms just from creating simple programs and experimenting with the forthcoming examples. But I do feel having some foreknowledge of these concepts really will bring some of the methods and tools related to visual programming into better focus. Now, a few useful concepts and phrases that will be helpful to understand graphical based programming at this point are classes, objects, containers, controls, and events. Another term you will hear is methods, which is just another term for program code. Again, you don't need to understand these concepts in depth to start creating programs. However, being at least a little familiar with the terms and fundamental concepts will help you move forward in understanding elements related to visual GUI based programming and the Gambas programming languages development environment. And after this tutorial, besides being able to understand elements of the Gambas IDE, you will be able to grasp what other programmers are talking about when they are describing the workings of modern programs using terms like objects and events. But before I move into object oriented programming or OOP, I am quickly going to cover traditional procedural programming. One of the most important things to remember about programming is that it is about breaking actions into smaller and smaller parts until the final goal of the program is reached. Programmers often use flowcharts to create the flow of a program and to show the branches which a step-by-step -step sequence of program instructions must follow to reach the program's desired result or function. Creating a complex sequence of carefully laid out instructions moving step-by-step -step and branching to different subroutines when necessary to achieve a desired goal is called procedural programming. It was the core of programming for decades and is still a vital element of programming many computer devices and is necessary to create low-level functions. One tool that was developed to formalize this approach is structured programming. This is very much simply the process of laying out the overall structure of a program and then breaking each element that is necessary to accomplish that goal into simpler and simpler steps. This process has worked for many decades and has been refined to a real science. However, it can be prone to both overall and minute problems and inefficiencies. For example, different parts of the program may contain virtually identical copies of code and data, which is inefficient and can lead to confusion as to which part of the program is actually producing which result. Also, making a relatively minor change to one piece of the program can cause unexpected interactions and incompatibilities between different sections of the program, requiring extensive recoding throughout the entire program. Object-oriented programming was created to facilitate complex programs that are flexible, easily created, modified, and maintained due to their being highly modular. Objects, very basically, are the program elements which have properties such as size, location, color, visibility, etc. And objects react to events, such as being clicked, activated, changed, or tested. Under the hood, objects exist in software as what are called classes. A class is the part of a program which describes the type and characteristics of an object. Next up are containers and controls. 
When a Gambas program is created, it consists of the forms and the controls that are placed within it by the programmer. Containers hold controls. An example of a container is the basic form, such as the F main from the test program. This is where you place the program's visual program objects, like buttons, text boxes, labels, slider controls, and so forth. At this point, all you really need to understand about classes is that classes define, to the software, the existence and functionality of the objects that are parts of programs. For example, forms have a form class. Buttons, text boxes, etc. have classes that define all of their characteristics. And later, at a more advanced level, you can use classes to modify existing objects or create new objects of your own with new characteristics and capabilities. The GUI objects that the user interacts with, buttons, text boxes, etc., are called controls. Controls contained in different containers are somewhat isolated from controls in other containers. This is very useful in instances that you don't want the controls interacting, except under program control. Both containers and controls have what are known as properties. These are the characteristics such as color, size, placement, whether they are enabled or disabled, etc. Properties can be set by the programmer while the program is being created, which is called design time, or some properties for the various objects can be set and changed while the program is running. This is called setting a property at runtime. Here is a sample of basic code contained in a Gambas program. The program code is attached to the various objects which make up the program and are usually triggered by events. Next are events. Both containers and controls react to events. Put simply, an event is when something happens, such as when the user checks a box, enters data, or presses a button. Events can also be generated by the program itself or by objects within the program. This is where the term event-driven comes in. And remember, Methods are basically the programmed actions within objects. That's it. Event-driven, object-oriented programs. Hopefully that phrase now sounds a little less intimidating and more familiar. And we are now ready to begin exploring the Gambas Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, and how to use it to easily create GUI-based programs. Now that we have covered a wide swath of visual programming principles, in the next tutorial, I will cover the fundamental elements of the Gambas IDE. After which, in following tutorial videos, I will be demonstrating how to create short program examples, which will explain using specific Gambas visual controls and writing basic program code. Again, Thanks for taking a look at these videos and joining me as I explore the Gambas language and making these videos. I hope you find them useful.